our daily prayer network for April 2nd, April 2, 2018. I read to you from John chapter 1 verse 1b. And the word was with God. And the word is God or God is the word. Jesus is God. And at the same time Jesus loves to listen to the Father. And I'm not surprised. All that is of the Father belongs to Him and belongs to us too. The psalm for today is Psalm number 30, Psalm number 30. Psalm number 30. I'm talking today on the topic You are not smarter than God. You are not smarter than God. Many of us think that because God is in planet heaven, that he cannot reach here whenever he wants. He doesn't need to walk right here. He uses his mind. He uses his activities. He uses his resources. He uses his messengers. He uses what he has already put in place. And by the way, he is spirit. Do you really think you are smarter than God? I love at uh, drug dealers and people of such who think they are so smart. And yet, with all their intelligence and creativity, the cops always get them. The cops always outsmart them and put them in jail. And they lose everything that they've worked for. It's interesting. If you are not smarter than other human beings, why then do you think that you are smarter than God? Especially those of us who have gone to a little school, obtained a little degree from some school. We begin to think that now that we've acquired intelligence or acquired some paperwork, some certificate, that that gives us the audacity to become smarter than God. The way God says we should do things are far more better than the way that humanity chooses to carry out their business. Everything that a human being does has a flaw with it. It carries with it great flaw. One of my friends from... Uh, one of the southern states said something like this one day. And uh, this fellow says, Don't you know that everything that a human being does, all that they have made, has flaws with it? That's something. That's something. That was very powerful. Yet we spend time with things that has flaws until we get upset enough that we let them go, including people. That should be the more reason why we should be attracted to Christ, to the Holy Spirit, to the Father, to enjoy communicating, being, going out on a date with God, marriage with God, There is a place for us to know that connecting with the one with supernatural intelligence, with divine intelligence, is all there is in life. And is all there is in all of eternity. Because if there is one thing that I've learned from God, it is that God will never tell you a lie. God will never deceive you. The other camp will, will not reveal everything to you until you've reached 
where you cannot retrieve yourself. That's when you are told, we are sorry, done deal. God always lets you know things up front. Don't try to be smarter than God. Do not try to be smarter than God. Even God sometimes brings himself down to our level. Look at how he brought his son here. It takes love. Love must be the primary motivation for God to do what he does with us. And yet we still think that we should outsmart him. And we cannot. At the end of the day, we will always come back to what he has said. I'll give you an example. God said he has given us fruits and vegetables for food. At the end of the day, we're coming back to vegetables and fruits. There you go. Why should we not commit adultery and fornication and all of that? Is it to deprive us of happiness? No, it is to deprive us of problems because God knows the jealousy, the envy that comes with such things. Yes, he does. So God is doing things to protect our lives. So let us pray. Father, we ask you tonight to help us Bring us into your own kind of smartness. We appeal to you to touch us and to heal us. Lord, heal our mind so that we can think like you do. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And if you pray that prayer with me, I want to say this. I appeal to you to send your donation. There are 50 people around the world who are supposed to send me, each of them, a $1,000 seed. And, and there are 100 people who are supposed to send me from 500 to 20. I want you to write to me or to call me or to go to my site, Idikai Mary's Ministries, and donate online. I need your financial donation for two reasons. One, so that we can tell the story of Jesus through the demonstration of his power. Two, I want to attach an offering to my prayer before God so as to give me authorization and legal power to enforce miracles for you. That's it. Go to my site, Itikai Mary's Ministries and donate online or write to me with your checks and or money order. P.O. Box 12474, Wichita, Kansas, 67212, USA. Email me at imeri2000, that's 2000, at gmail.com. Call me. And let me receive your prayer request. Leave me with your prayer request. Or to counsel you. Yeah, if you want me to do counseling with you. And if there are other services you want me to provide for you. So that deliverance happens. Revelation happens. So that you can now thank God for your deliverance. Jobs come to you. Husband, wives come to you. Things begin to move in your life again. Call me, 425-409-0473. 425-409-0473. And God bless you. Don't try to be smarter than God, because it will not work. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> something was happening with our video, something. Remember, do not try to outsmart God. Let God 
begin to perform his mighty deeds for you and in your life.